This is Adam with South Coast Yachts. I'm up here in Newport Beach at uh, sail time and power time and just wanted to give you a quick tour of a Swift Trawler 35. Let's go on board. All right, so here we have the Beneteau Swift Trawler 35. We'll give you a quick uh, walk around on the outside of the boat here. As you see, this boat has the nice pearl gray gel coat and she's the flybridge version. Coming along the starboard side, you do have uh, access to get on board from this uh, little passageway here on the starboard side, which goes right to the helm station, which uh, when we're on board, I'll kind of show you the, the nice feature about that helm station being right on the side with this sliding door access. Got a nice high freeboard, so it gives you a lot of volume down below. And then coming up to the bow here, uh, you'll see we have a nice lounge pad. So you have room to throw a couple of bean bags up there. And then you got your windlass, your anchor, and your uh, your anchor roller up at the bow here as well. Nice plumb bow, plowing through the waves. This boat will get you about uh, 19 knots cruising speed. And it's a real comfortable ride. Coming around to check out the, uh, the aft. You do have a swim platform off the back here. You got a little davit system for your dinghy on here. This is an option. You also have retractable davits right here. So if you have a lighter weight dinghy, these will retract out and fold out. So you can make use of those. As you see with the swim platform, and you do have the opening to the, uh, to the aft part of the cockpit here, um, which is really great. And it opens up the, the whole space right here for swimming and lounging out if you're at the island, if you're on anchor somewhere. And let's look up the port side of the boat here. Give you a pulled back view. This is a real beautiful design. Beneteau has done a great job on giving you features that are functional yet stylish. As we step on from the aft of the boat here, you got the nice teak decking in the back here. You have these optional fold out seats. So when these transom doors are closed, you're nice and secure in the aft cockpit here. And then you have uh, seating if needed all around. As you see here, we got hot and cold, fresh water wash down. So after a swim, you can rinse yourself off. And then to port, we have your emergency bilge pump here. And then you have access to your engine compartment right down here in the floor. Give you a quick peek. So a nice hydraulic studs here. You got your generator. And then you see how uh, at South Coast Yachts, we label everything so you know exactly what all your hoses, your valves, and everything are set up for. So you got your battery banks, light jacket storage. Give you a quick view, I'll spin this around here. You do have an emergency tiller handle here so much like a sailboat if you have some sort of problem with your steering you can pull this tiller handle out and right in this cap you open that up there'll be a slot to slide that in and you can still steer the boat close this up so before we go up under the flybridge I'm gonna take you inside one thing to note is you have beautiful lighting here all throughout. You do have additional sunshade that can be provided here and you can also fully enclose this whole cockpit. We got some speakers mounted up here in the cockpit. Give you some entertainment, cup holders, which are always useful. And if you look up the starboard side, you do have clear access right up to the bow. Really safe and secure, really high combings here so you feel all safe and secure while moving around the boat. Same goes for the port side. You can walk right up, nice clear access all the way to the bow. Now, while we're looking into the main salon here, as you see these doors, 
open all the way up, which is great. So it gives you real, just good indoor, outdoor living at the same time. Of course, you can close this off so you're fully protected uh, from the elements if you want to, if you're operating in foul weather or if you just want to uh, lock yourself inside. Coming here, this is a, this table can be moved around. You can bring this outside in the cockpit or leave it here in the main salon. This settee does fold down into a bunk as well. And you just have great lighting. You have privacy curtains all around. So if you are using the settee as a bunk, you can actually have some privacy curtains from the rest of the, uh, the boat, the rest of the cabins. This boat has the flat screen TV mounted here on the port side. Right above that, hidden away are all your breaker panels. And then you just have storage everywhere on the boat, which is great. This boat does, uh, like I showed you, it does have generator. You do have AC and heat on board. So here is your thermostat control here. You got Bluetooth speaker here. And then you do have your tank monitoring here. So you can uh, check out the status of your batteries, your water tanks, your fuel tanks, everything there. Looking forward, we have our galley and our helm station down below, or, or down below helm station as opposed to up on the flybridge. Let's give you a quick spin around of the galley here. Nice deep stainless steel sinks, double sink. Got some more storage here. You have your kind of place to throw all your charts and your knickknacks right up here and then as we spin around here we have a two burner induction stove we got a melee microwave we got trash stowed away nice and neat back in here and then you have refrigeration to starboard under the helm station already stocked up it's a real great helm station a lot of thought put into this. Obviously you fold this down, you can sit up there and relax. Or if you just want to stand and operate the boat, pull that up and you have something to lean into. The seat will slide forward and aft as well. And then as we look at the helm station, this one's got all the Raymarine electronics, really intuitive, nice big chart plotter there. You have all your main switches for your wipers, your horn, your, uh, your wash down, your anchor, windlass. You got a couple of uh, Raymarine repeaters here, as well as down below here, just tucked in behind the wheel. Can't get that one off right now, I'll show you that. You got your fuel gauges, you got your electronic throttle, trim tabs, and you have both bow and stern thrusters, which is fantastic on this boat. This is a single prop boat. So having bow and stern thrusters makes it a breeze for uh, close quarter maneuvering, pulling up to the dock. One thing that is really nice is if you note here at the helm station with our sliding access door right here, you have clear access way to step out. If you need to kind of see what you're doing as you're close to the dock maneuvering, you can still reach easily your thruster controls, your throttle, trim tabs, everything here. But you can actually get real close and you can actually have a good line of sight for docking the boat, pulling up to a slip. And then with the access to step off the dock here and tie yourself off, it makes it a breeze to operate this boat single-handedly. Now we'll give you a quick tour down below. So we come down, nice gentle sloping three steps. Come all the way forward to the master cabin. You've got a ton of headroom in this boat. I think we're about six foot four, maybe six foot five. Nice big bunk here with access going out both port and starboard. And then you've got hanging lockers that are lit. You've got a separate fusion Bluetooth head unit there. You do have opening port lights. 
You also have uh, shades that do pull down here. So you have full privacy, but then you can get some great ventilation. And of course you do have a overhead hatch here as well. It goes up to the uh, forward deck. And then an opening porthole on the port light here on the starboard side as well. And back to another locker here. It's nice, you can uh, give yourself some privacy here with the, the double doors. And you keep those open. They are locked in magnetically here, so they're not gonna be flopping around while you're in their way. And then as we step back a little bit and we look to port, you do have a bunk bed set up here. Sleep too comfortably. You do have good headroom in here. You got an opening port light, both above and below. And then you have lighting underneath for this aft bunk. These are really long bunks as well, so you got plenty of room to stretch out. And then you got, of course, you got good storage in this cabin as well. Nice big full-size mirror. And then as we look on the starboard side, we come to the nice big head. I love the finish work in the head here. You got great use of storage. Fresh water sink. Then you do have your toilet and shower. Nice thing is, is that you can close off the shower from the rest of the, the head here so you can keep everything else dry, keep all your toiletries dry, but then the, the head is in the shower. Again, lots of headroom, lots of great lighting, opening porthole here, opening porthole there, get good ventilation throughout. Here, just looking under the stairs here, we do have our main battery breakers. We have some additional storage under the steps. And then let's, we'll take you forward on the bow before we go up to the flybridge. So again, just make easy access going up to the bow, step right out here from the helm station. As we lift this stair, this will be your waste pump out and your fuel fill. And then as we move forward, you got nice stainless steel railings that are nice and high here. Feel nice, safe, and secure. And you come out to the bow, and you see a really large sun pad. You got room to throw these nice bean bags out here. You got your electric windlass, your Lumar windlass. You got a big delta anchor on the uh, stainless steel bow roller there. And then you have access to your anchor locker here on both sides. A lot of space down there, good access to all your chain and your road. Here's your remote for the windlass. You can also operate the windlass from the helm station. So if you are single-handed, you can uh, drop the anchor from the wheel. Here's more access to your anchor locker. Keeps it real clean and tidy. Got a little gate, opens up here. So you can sit up here when you're at anchor, enjoying the day. You can jump off there for swimming. Kids love it. And then as we look back towards the flybridge, you got a nice big spotlight up on the bow here. And we'll walk you down the starboard side of the boat. Got all the teak decking here. We'll come to the access to the flybridge. Create a ladder system here. As you see the door is open, you can close off the flybridge. Keep everyone safe when you're, uh, if you're up top there, if you have your kids up here with you. Real easy to climb up here. And then you got great visibility from up on the flybridge here. Operating the boat from here is a dream. This is where people are gonna hang out the most, especially while underway. Really great canvas work by uh, Memos Custom Canvas down in San Diego. As you see, all the stainless work is excellent. You can fully enclose the flybridge here. So if you are operating the boat in not so ideal elements, you can keep yourself safe and dry and warm. And then as we look back here, just show you the aft part. Got plenty of room for a couple of bean bags up here, a 
couple of chairs. There's an option on uh, doing a barbecue up here as well. And you look up on the stainless arch here, we got our Raymarine uh, radar dome, our running lights. Again, this hatch does close. So if you are up here with your kids, make sure nobody's gonna fall down below while underway. Got a nice seating area here, U-shaped seating area with a big table. This leaf does fold down or fold up out of the way to give you a little more space when you're getting to the helm. But as you look here, great captain's chair. And then coming to the helm station, pretty much all the same features as the helm down below. You have your electronic throttle. You got, you do have your fusion head unit here. So you can uh, play your music. You got your trim tabs, bow and stern thrusters, switches for wipers, horn, all your gauges, chart plotter, repeater, etc. Cup holders, speakers, you name it. It's a great place to hang out, entertain, operate the boat. And as you see, even climbing down below, the ladder is not too steep. You should turn around out of safety, but it is doable to climb down the boat that way. Give you one quick spin around inside here. Again, we'll just kind of sit at the helm station here, just give you an idea of your visibility all around while you are operating the boat from down here. You do have great visibility. You can see every aspect of the boat. So if you are operating this boat shorthanded or single-handed, you have uh, no, no real blind spots. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tour of this uh, Beneteau Ocean, or sorry, this Beneteau Swift Trawler 35. Uh, although this particular boat is not for sale, we do have a few slightly used ones available at South Coast Yachts. And of course, we can always order a brand new one for you and spec it out exactly how you like. So if you are interested in a little bit more information about uh, this vessel or any other boat in the Beneteau lineup or any newer used boat, please feel free to contact me at adam at s cyachts.com like south coast yachts or you can call me on 949-973-4812 thank you very much